How's your Lent going? Take one. Hi kids, it's Vicki, your vicar from Ashfield. And today I wanna to ask you an important question. How's your Lent going? But before we get into that, I'm gonna lose the mask because we're inside this time and not outside. And I might even try wearing something more interesting. What do you think? Cool, I'm cool. The vicar is so cool. All right, I know. Moving on. So 40 days, 40 days in Bible speak means a really long time. For example, the story of Noah's Ark, which I'm hoping you know, and if not, pull that Bible down. Noah and his family and uh, every animal two by two goes on the ark, big storm, big flood, and the storm lasts for 40 days and 40 nights. Translation, a really long time. Fast forward, Moses leads the chosen people out of slavery in Egypt. And if you don't know that story too well, uh, there's a lovely Disney film or Pixar called Prince of Egypt, check it out. And anyway, Moses leads the chosen people through the desert, not for 40 days, but 40 years before they reach their destination. So. Once again, in Bible speak, 40 equals a really long time. And that brings us into the season of Lent. Uh, Jesus gets baptized and then he goes out into the wilderness for 40 days and 40 nights. Why? Well, he can't really help himself. There's just something going on. He knows he needs to have some time with God, some time for prayer some time to think about what he needs to do in his life, uh, a, a time of preparation really, because he's gonna be very busy for like three years straight. So like Jesus taking time in the wilderness, we take 40 days every single year to prepare ourselves for the joy of Easter Sunday. So let's talk a little bit about Lent. There are three things that all Christians are supposed to work on in, in Lent, our time in the wilderness with the Lord. We're supposed to pray more, we're supposed to fast, and we're supposed to give. Uh, praying and giving, I think you kind of know. Fasting is kind of like, you know, is there something in my life that, that maybe I don't need to be doing so much of? Or, um, you can even fast from something you eat, you know, uh, and, and, and do something good instead. Uh, so I'm going to take these three ideas of prayer, fasting, and giving and kind of make them kid-sized. So here are Vicar Vicky's suggestions for kids in Lent. And that means you, and you, and you, and you, and you. Number one, remember prayer? All that is is talking to God. Lent is a great time to talk to God more. God is always ready to listen. God is always happy to hear from you. God loves the sound of your voice just the way your mom and dad love you. So talk to God. Two, remember this was the weird one, fasting, what, what, what can I give up? What, what, what should I be doing less of in my life? Um, here's my suggestion. Take a break from gaming. Just once, try it, take a break. When you feel like playing, uh, I don't know, what do you guys play these days? Super Mario Brothers? Huh. Wah, wah. <laughs> Old Vicar. Take a break from gaming and pull the Bible down off your shelf or get your kids Bibles um, and, and read a Bible story instead. Take a break from gaming and read a Bible story 
instead. And number three, giving. We all know what it means to give. Uh, in this time, the greatest thing you can give to somebody is your love, right? We're lonely for each other. We need each other's love. So number three is give somebody in your family a call all by yourself um, or FaceTime them if, you're, if you guys do FaceTime at home and just tell them that you love them. That's it. That's the easiest one, okay? So pray, fast, give becomes talk to God, take a break from your games and read a Bible story and call someone in your family and tell them that you love them. These are my suggestions for a, a kid-sized Holy Lent. And I want to end with kind of a, you know, this is kind of like the, the game of Lent board game here. Um, I just want to highlight the very beginning, Ash Wednesday was our first day in Lent. Remember, we put the mark of the cross on our heads with the ashes, right? We are cruising. We are already, look at your second arrow, at the second Sunday of Lent. That's today. And we have got a ways to go. So you have plenty of time to do those three things. And I hope that by the time my next video comes out, you will have done each one of those things at least once. So until we meet again, count the Sundays. We're on the second Sunday. Count them and wait for my next video, which will come to you on Palm Sunday. You see Jesus riding the donkey, palms in the air. You get the idea. So I'll talk to you again on that Sunday, and we'll talk about the week ahead, what we call Holy Week. And what comes after Lent? Hmm. Could it be Easter? <laughs> what? What? Got something on my face? What? 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 Oh my goodness. Look at that. Bye, kids. Talk to you again on Palm Sunday. God bless you.